you guys are not properly aware of this young lady's um, literal prowess, um, you will soon. This is Brenda York. We'll see. So, so the piece is called Major's Room, and I feel like it's sort of necessary not to bust out my undergraduate learning and classics too much. But uh, are we aware of the Minotaur and the Labyrinth, that mythology, that yeah. story? Yeah. We know something about, about it. That, well, we know that it, the Minotaur is, um, of course, half bull and half human, and that it was, it's a Minoan in the Minoan culture. Each year, while it was alive, they had to sacrifice a Kore, it's a young woman, and a Koros, which is a young man, um, to the Minotaur until Theseus came and Ariadne helped him and then they got rid of it. But, but what's interested me was that the, the, the mother of the Minotaur, uh, Pasiphae, had to have sex with a bull. And then also then her, uh, following her, Phaedra, her daughter, had sort of a complicated relationship with men as well, her stepson to be exact, so Hippolytus. But, but these are all not very necessary. It's just a sort of uh, background into what's happening. And uh, questions of origin play a part, so I thought it was necessary to let it go on. <laughs> Phaedra's room. That story thought against me, as if we could forget each other, an immovable but lovable lump of earth. Toros Kalos, beautiful bull in Attic Creek, was the monstrous sun sent by a sea god to pacify, which I pretend is the root for pacify. What sort bedroom bore Minos, his wife lusted after cattle. The bull was white, that story. He shone outside windows as foreigner's light. She did not know the inside of. When I have to be good at love, I get sorry for it. Minos carried a shell and promised. Her want, wetness supersedes safety, what a thrust can do to a girl. You pet me, I can't. Loosen the clips from my hair. They're bind for saris, all mine an evening slur. It is better to be born from than to birth. Gave him a false father's name, Minotar. Never meant to turn you driftwood. There will be time in your mouth, white bull. The plastic of the cow suit cuts my knees to sustain our thing. But how else will I fuck you if I do not let you do as your kind? If I were a woman that cared about those things, would you have, barring Daedalus' suit? We could play a would you, wouldn't you, stomp my head in with your hoof, or palm my girly bit silly. Were it a problem of words, that goo, I didn't need another's language to show its bones rather nicely, to not think you came and it wasn't special. In short, to be fucked out of marble was to feel life's horn. He pulled my mouth open, that wretch. I'm a nice person, I know scorpions have a bad rap, but a person is nice if they share their snacks and are a woman who shares. I shared, and I got sorry for it, being a nice person, a shared woman with snacks who reveals her attractions for men who don't have to share but notice, won't get in because you define coercion in terms of how I would or wouldn't eat your arms, legs, toes, you softened in bath water, a man who bathes takes time out for gym memberships and soft speaking, say, drink you up to be soluble, this is an excellent way to not feel bad about yourself. Well, I haven't yet. I didn't cry as you wanted. Womanly things out of my undercarriage. And I had my genitals turned out for you, didn't I? Could manage when the cock was smaller, sure. Taking it was, as you said, more than a woman, more of a woman than crying. If you ask for less things on your birthday, if the lubricant pina colada you weren't allergic to, swallowed semen as Slurpee, or if you managed to snort away from my face, 
There's a man in the words I mean to prompt you with. I was worn out from all the fucking, and doggy no less. Red, worn, white, chapped labial predicament. Never notice unless you say, ow, unless you are too dry and they need to lick it first. He told the other bulls I took my steak blue, warm but raw, the elaboration a sure fit. I felt like a shoehorn, stuffed too thick wool sock, place in a field to make available. What I would want would have me purple. Unless the tummy ripples when you bend over to reach for your underwear and forget to, stu to suck in your tendency for gut. I hide the wobbles in small lamplight. He wants the overhead on so he can see. They always want to then tell you your bottom, your bottom, you fuck her, you fuck her, you fuck her, you fuck her. Won't you fuck? Her is hollow wooden cow, wrapped in bovine skin and endowed with the mechanical. She borrowed invention and perspired for it. Many trips to workshop, to his workshop, where Daedalus measured cervix with his index finger, usually a rough estimate. To plumb her womb, he did her a favor. She felt obliged and to yes, he was doing her a favor. The thing about favors is they're sweaty, but she wore, swore herself steadfast to swell, to vault, to hold, because Minos proved to have many and would not sacrifice what was gifted. His wife's pharmacia, meaning witchcraft, directed at his semen, released scorpions, among others. I cannot see the resemblance, an allusion to my own, which becomes our own rather quickly when I read, Pasiphae took pleasure in becoming an adulteress with the bull. I note it is not, I notice it is not of the bull, but with, to pinpoint a grotesque bestiality that cleaves the underside of my chin. Nothing is mine if not to shocking excess. If I question origin, does that make me disinterested in the present? She was mom to me, early Cretan moon goddess, a blend of female sensuality and deceit, which are bigger terms than slut. She bore a hybrid child. There aren't pictures of how we might recover our senses impregnated when our breasts swell to accommodate the bull baby. She could have gotten rich charging admission to that event. I return to being sorry is the most interesting part of longing. Passion before chastity. I was subsumed with an obvious attraction. Stepmother implies I did not birth him. Ought not be witch misogyny's mascot. What I took care of, what I hung instead. Letters to husbands with words mother never said. I never said sorry, daughter, because it was granted. It was part of their mental furniture, meant to justify theft. What I mean is, your quiet was unkind, and your words did no better had I forgotten to mention myself into a crotch loosened by your hands. Would have done for, now would have done the job, mine to maintain. Phaedros, meaning bright, my joke. I'd like to commiserate with only strange notions of thrust. I venture noose, loosen, and lessen, not to moan for what is not yours. Where I go shortens breath, is not sustained. A diet of chewed lips, the ache of how to be alone.